some people look at Vietnam and say, mình mất nước, we lost our country. I disagree strongly. But because of 1975, people like us had spread all over the world. There's a few leaders in the boat. He said, listen guys, this is our last chance. We are going to go near the, boat, the, the big ship and we're all going to jump. I think I'm so scared. I don't know what happened, but the next thing I know, I was on the ship. Our house was uh, confiscated, so the only choice was to escape. I remember the hot air. I remember that American soldiers showed up to our school. And uh, it was probably one of the saddest points in my life there, yeah, the family being split apart at that moment. It's a really complicated, painful past. Like a lot of <laughs> Vietnamese kids, when I started digging, I was like, I don't know if I want to know this whole story. <laughs> when they tell me they sacrifice a lot to come here, I never really expected it to go beyond what happened when they immigrated here, but even back in Vietnam. And that was sort of like haunting me for a long time. What would I do if I was in that situation? You know, Vietnam had a 4,000 year of history we always been at war. China came over our country, took over the country for 1,000 years. 1,000 years is a long time. The French came for 100 years and, you know, all kind of war. But we never lost our language. We never lost our culture. This is the first time Vietnamese ever left Vietnam. And we left for a reason. Hi, I'm Tracy Nguyen Meng, host of the podcast Vietnamese Boat People. Join me in documenting the stories of hope, survival, and resilience of the Vietnamese diaspora. Support us by subscribing to the show or visit our website at vietnameseboatpeople.org.